Oh, uh, what's going on guys? Today it is trout opener or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, they basically open up all the lakes around me which have trout which they stocked and they're usually pretty easy to catch. So we're going to be going out to a lake which is right in front of me. Uh, we're going to try to get away from some people and see if that works. But basically what we're going to be doing is using some worms and spinners. So stay tuned and hopefully get on them. Alrighty guys, so we got to the spot. There isn't really anyone on this side of the lake. There's a couple of people but what we're doing is we're going to use one rod for a night crawler and one with a little inline spinner. So what I got is a bobber with about depth of five to six feet since it's a little deeper here with the six size hook and a split shot. And I just thread on a night crawler like that, let it wiggle. I'm just going to throw it out there and see what happens. You want to let them eat that, like don't set the hook right away, but yeah, we're going to see what happens with this one and I'm going to take out my spinning rod with a spinner and try to get one. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens. Alrighty guys, so this is the spinner that I'm using, just a little inline spinner with some 6 pound test floral. The other one has 8 pound test. I want to kind of stay no higher than 8, but these are stocker trout so they're not very smart so it doesn't really matter too much but I usually have better luck with thinner line. But yeah, hopefully the fish are biting. I've seen some people catching some or walking out of their car with some, so we'll see what happens. I also didn't mention it is the middle of the day. I had some stuff to do, so probably not the best time to go, but I still think we could get something. Oh, we got one, guys. Got a trout. Literally, like, five minutes in. I'm the spinner. It's a nice one, too. The stockers they had here were really, really small. As you see, that is a beautiful rainbow trout. Probably, like, 12, 13 inches. Spinners were in the corner of the mouth. It's actually five minutes. That's what it says on the GoPro. Since I started throwing the spinner, I actually recasted my bobber to a different spot. And my bobber was sitting right where this fish bit. So that's why it's good to have two different baits out there. A lot of guys like to use power bait, but I like to use the spinner and the worm method. And as you see, it's producing pretty well. Alrighty guys, well that was really quick. I really wasn't expecting to get one that fast. There's another like that usually is a lot better, but I have to get into like the freaking forest and get all dirty and muddy. But over here, it's not bad. So I'm hoping I could get my limit right here. But yeah. Let's see if there's any more fish biting. As you see, it's not that complicated to catch these guys. Basically, the best way to go is just to come here as soon as they let them in. This is the first day they opened the lake. Probably be better if I came here, like, I think they open at 5, actually. But it's about noon right now, and as you see, we got that one, so it's not bad. But I usually like to try to get away from the people if, if it's possible and usually get some fish. So, yeah, hopefully we'll get more. Oh, we got one. I actually don't think that's trout. 
I have not gotten a bass here in a really long time. I literally thought this guy was snagged, but he's a little unhealthy. He's just skinny as hell. Probably about 10 inches. But he got like every damn hook. Like got his hook mouth shut. His mouth hooked shut. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, that's the fish. Let's let her go. Alrighty guys, so since the Nightcrawler and Bob weren't producing, what I did was tie a split shot as you see. And I have a hook with a worm threaded on there. I put the split shot a little higher since there's so much weeds here, but what I'm going to do is pump this worm full of air. See, I got a syringe. I'm going to pump it up. And what this is going to do is suspend the worm about that two feet off the bottom. And it's going to kind of keep it in place since the bobber was like all over the place. Let's just check if it floats. Should we put enough air? We did. And I'm just going to kind of chuck it out there where it's a little bit deeper. And see if that works. Because I feel like the bobber might just be taking that thing into the weeds. And I don't know. I've gotten hit a couple times, but I'm pretty sure those are bluegill. But I'm just going to try that. The bobber wasn't working either way. And we're going to keep throwing that spinner. And hopefully we'll get some more. We got something guys. I think it's another trout actually. Oh, it's a gold one. <laughs> we have not gotten anything for a while. Look at this guy. This guy's pretty cool. They let some of these in this like actually. I think this is the only one around me that they actually let gold ones in. <laughs> gold. This is a cool little fish guys. He's not as big as the other one, but I finally got another fish because it's been real slow. I've been getting tapped really lightly. On the spinner like something's been missing it and I finally got this fish as you see nice little gold trout something a little bit different There we go guys, got another one. Oh, he came off. He's a little guy too, but it would be good to keep on that spinner as well. Nothing's happening on the damn bobber. It's been a slow day. I really expected us to cut some more fish a lot quicker, but I mean, those two fish, the gold one and this one were like probably like 10 minutes apart, if not even that, so maybe we'll get more faster i'm not sure maybe the bite's gonna pick up usually it's kind of in waves sometimes they'll just stop for an hour or something and they'll start up again but we're just kind of sitting in the same spot as we were just because on the other side of the lake there's a whole whole bunch of people and i really don't feel like standing next to one another and tangling lines with other people and if there is some fish here then might as well just stay here uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't get so many fish. I, I did lose that one trout, so I would have had three. And I had a couple hits on the spinner that I didn't hook. But yeah, it was kind of slow today. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. I'm kind of surprised since it is the first day, but I did come here at noon. But if you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe for future content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.